What's happening guys, Dan Debenham here. In this video, we're gonna be looking at one of the major components of photography and videography, the tripod. And more specifically, this particular tripod, the newer Light Trip 35. Let's get into it. So first things first, Newa sent me this tripod to try out. I've had it for about seven weeks now, eight weeks maybe, maybe a little bit longer. And I've used it on every single job, um, corporate, commercial, and personal. And uh, I've got it to review, uh, although all the things I say are my own, they've not specific, specified that I say anything in particular, uh, just that uh, I give them an honest review of what I think of this tripod. So without further ado, Let's get into some of the specifics of this Light Trip 35 tripod by Newer. So, first things first, let's hold it like this. It's 49 centimeters or there so long, five and a half or there are so wide, which means you can hold it in one hand, which is great. Um, it's got 166 centimeters as total height, and it will uh, weigh 1.13 kilograms as it stands now with the plate on the end. Um, and uh, it will take a maximum weight, so a maximum load bearing weight of 10 kilograms. So that's the stats out of the way. So what is it? The, what is the detail on this tripod? Okay, so first things first, it's a carbon fiber tripod. It's a five stage carbon fiber tripod. So first stage is as it stands, as it is now, just looking at it. And then you've got four adjustable stages, which are one finger adjustable lock-in uh, clips. A bit like the stuff you get on Manfrotto uh, tripods uh, or the Peak Design stuff. And speaking of Peak Design, this uh, Arca Swiss compliant tripod is, is compatible with Peak Design stuff. Uh, so it means if you've got one of those clips that stick on your bag, you put the camera on it and all that kind of stuff, the plate that comes with this tripod will fit in that and Arca Swiss uh, Peak Design plates will fit on this as well. I've tried it with other plates from uh, a Three Legged Thing and all that kind of stuff which are all Arca Swiss uh, and they work fine, no problems at all. They're, some of the plates, like, like the Three Legged Thing plates, they have little screws on which stop them from sliding back and forth. This has them on the actual uh, body itself so you need to take those screws out in order to make them fit otherwise it raises a bit too high. So let's get into the detail. It's carbon fiber, so it weighs 1.13 kilograms, which means it's really light. As travel tripods go, I think this very much resembles or has a feel of the Peak Design travel tripod to it. So it's like aimed at that market uh, and, uh, and the build quality is exemplary. It's a very, very, very nice piece of kit. If we have a look at the actual functions of it, so you've got three stages with these legs that are lockable and they're done by pulling down these metal clips. So everything on here, the hardware is all metal and then the carbon fiber stuff uh, for the legs and what have you. Uh, you've got a ball head which is adjustable and so on and so forth. We'll, we'll come to that. So you can pull these down and then you can raise them out and that gives you 22 degrees. So you've got 22 degree pull out uh, all the way around. Uh, if we flick around to the th second leg, second stage on that there's 22 degrees there's 55 so you've got your 22 degree and you've got your 55 degree and then when we come around this side here uh, if we pull it all the way out to the full size you've got 85 degrees so that's almost to the ground now the beauty of this tripod is you can actually flatten it out completely you can actually go further than flat if you want to uh, but you could actually flatten it out entirely so that it's it's pretty much all the way flat to the ground uh, I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you can. So you've got 22 degrees, 55 degrees, and 85 degrees as tripods go. In terms of the 10 kilograms, uh, I'm assuming I'm working with the working assumption that the, 20, the 10 kilograms full load bearing weight would be at 22 degrees, which is going to give it the maximum amount of uh, support. Uh, I'm not sure why you'd want 10, 10 kilograms uh, at 85 degrees. Uh, given that the carbon fiber legs uh, are very, very thin at the end on the smallest sections. Um, but I mean, if anybody wants to try that out, leave a comment below and let me know how that works out for you. Um, in terms of what you get with this package, um, I think that's quite an interesting thing that comes along with the newer uh, way of thinking. So you've got an adjustable uh, 
uh, adjustable column in the middle, or quite a long adjustable column in the middle. And that's great if you're, you know, you're wanting to do time lapses or you're wanting to take photos and all that kind of stuff. But oftentimes, people don't need that kind of range of motion. And so in order to do that, what they've done is supplied you with a shortened version of that, of that post. So that fits sort of down here. So you can see it's sort of like there. Uh, and that effectively allows you just a tiny bit of movement but not not too much I'll just stick that in my pocket um, but it allows you to switch it in and out which means you can get this lower to the ground obviously because this column would be in the way given that you had your legs out at 85 degrees uh, what else do you get you also get this uh, handy little thing bear in mind these are all made of metal as well so it's quite a nice touch that these are really high quality things so on this tripod there are two areas uh, of the triangle of this tripod there are two areas which have got three quarter inch screws and they're locking they've got pin locks in so they're only going one way and so they've supplied you with a uh, adjustable uh, mobile phone holder so that can just go in the side of there like that and it's got a cold shoe mount on the side which means you can actually use it to um, attach lights and all that kind of stuff or put your mobile phone on there and get a TikTok video from the same uh, thing that you're taking photos of or you can record what you're uh, taking photos of and all that kind of stuff or you can just record two different things two different angles in one go basically um, and you can use it for all sorts of other things in terms of what this will fit uh, this will fit everything from a uh, Samsung S23 iPhone 15 Pro Max Pixel all that kind of but the big tablety type style size phones um, and they're they're really you know it's really 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 useful in terms of locking uh, and using this uh, quick release plate, uh, it's a push down button to unlock it and then there's a twist lock mechanism in order to be able to get it to lock in place so you can no longer twist it. Uh, in terms of operation, I'll just show you how quickly I can operate this. So you can just undo them all, drop them out. I'm doing this one handed obviously because I've got hold of it uh, with the other and I'm just going to pull this down. This will of course also give you some indication of what the height is. Uh, me being vertically challenged, I'm about 168, 169 centimeters in height. So we'll get this sat here as we are. I'll tell you what, let's put it here, which is quite nice. Um, undo that column and then fetch it up to full height. And as you can see, the base plate is roughly where my eye line is. Um, so, you know, for me, I'd be sort of tippy toes in order to be able to see through the camera lens and so on and so forth. Um, it's got a hook on the bottom, so this is a bag hook or a sandbag hook, so you can have a bit more stability to it. Um, and this unscrews, and when it unscrews, you can turn it and you can spin it around the other way so you can undersling the camera uh, and then you can get closer macro shots and all that good stuff that you would want to do if you're taking amazing photos. Uh, in terms of a ball head adjustment, so on the side here you've got a, 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 a control to be able to spin the ball head and there is some resistance to that. It makes me see, it makes me feel like there's some fluid in there so it's got, a, it's got like a fluid ball head to it so it's quite nice and smooth um, and there are measurements on the inside as well. Uh, on the, uh, uh, just in the ball head itself, there is a, uh, a locking clip that you can pull out. It's a quarter turn to be able to get it to unlock. So it's just basically a quarter turn to get it to unlock. It's got the obligatory uh, 90 degree option. So I'll just spin it around so you can see that. It's got the obligatory 90 degree option so you can get portrait photos or you can get landscape. And it's nice and smooth. It's, it's, it feels like there's some weight to it to allow you to be able to just get it into position where you want it to be. It's, it's very nice. Um, and then when you don't want that clip anyway, you can just pull it out and it just locks down on a hex a nut effectively uh, in, any angle, in any angle that you want and it fits flush to the ball head. The actual, the actual thing itself, the lever itself is, is shaped like the ball head is. So you can actually push it right in so that it fits just snug. It's a nice feature that it fits just snug into the ball head, uh, into the, the housing for the ball head and that just keeps everything nice and neat and tidy. There is a level on top, uh, although I'm not entirely certain who uses those. I use the camera level on all of my stuff, um, but there is a level nonetheless if you want to level the tripod out before putting your camera on and all that kind of, kind of stuff that you would perhaps want to do. 
In terms of the ball head itself, you can remove this entirely and put it on. It's compatible with cup design ball heads um, from uh, cup design heads for other tripods. So if you've got a, I don't know, a Vitten tripod or a Manfrotto travel tripod or something like that, uh, that have got that cup design rather than a screw top design, uh, this will fit on there as well. And it's a very nice ball head. It's very, very well made um, and it is, uh, it has a nice feel and a nice use to it. There is also another option that comes with this as well as well as that. You get a bag and you get another sort of uh, time-lapse mode type uh, option that fits on top which gives you further detailed detents and stuff to be able to uh, get it into position to where you want it to be. In terms of feet on this, um, so feet on this are rubber feet. They are just rubber stoppers that go along the bottom. Some tripod manufacturers have interchangeable feet on their uh, on their tripods, um, and I've got tripods that do that. I don't see it as a negative. This hasn't essentially, um, you know, I've bought extra feet for tripods before. You put a set of feet on, you never take them off after that. You end up with a bag of feet that you've, you've bought thinking they were a great idea and you've never used them. I think these are sufficient absolutely no problems whatsoever uh, and even fully extended um, it feels nicely balanced and nicely nicely laid out um, and very 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 nicely made and again it's a good easy one-handed operation uh, the clips are nice and strong they are plastic clips I might add they're not metal or anything like that but they feel like they're built enough to be able to cope with daily interactions you do get some tools. You get some tools with this in order to be able to uh, tighten up legs and stuff like that because daily use and all that kind of good stuff. We all know tripods need a little bit of care and attention here and there. They need a nip up and a, and a, and a little bit of tighten every now and again just to keep them in good working order. Uh, and, and as I say, you will supply those with this tripod for you to use anyway. So you're not scratching around for stuff um, to find, to use, to, to stick in your bag and, and do all that good stuff. So what are my final thoughts on the Light Trip 35? Do I think it's worth the money to go and get one of these or would I stay, would I say steer clear of it? Um, well, to be honest with you, it's giving me uh, Peak Design's trump tripod feels, to be honest. Uh, and I've used one of those and I would say this is, this is probably just as good as one of those. Um, I would say it's, it's an excellent piece of kit with excellent build quality for an excellent price. I know on, I think on Newer's website, this is around 329 pounds, I think, something like that. Uh, but I have seen it cheaper uh, in other areas such as Amazon and places like that when there are sales on, significantly cheaper, I might add. Um, and would I, would I say it's worth the money? 100%, yeah. I think, it's, I think it's a really nice, really nice tripod. The carbon fiber is really good quality carbon fiber. Um, it's not just an overlay over the top. It's a nice carbon fiber that, you know, if you get close enough to it, you can actually see the weave. Um, you can see the joint, you can see the fibers on the joints actually, which is really, really nice to see because you can see that, you know, that, that there is actual proper carbon fiber there. Um, and it feels strong and it feels sturdy and it doesn't flex. Um, and it's just, it's just an all round, really, really, really nice tripod. So with that, I hope you did find this review, this short review of the Light Trip 35 uh, useful. As I say, um, I've used it for sort of seven, eight weeks now, and it's been my go-to daily driver for tripods, and it's it's been exceptional, and it's done everything that I asked it to do for all manner of different jobs, from photography, which is what I do, to filmmaking, which is also what I do, um, both commercially, corporate filmmaking, and personal stuff, such as this YouTube video. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, it's an excellent piece of kit. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.